How do we analyze Facebook ads results? This is the thing when it comes to Facebook advertising, setting up a campaign is easy. However, the next best challenge or the next biggest challenge that we will be facing is how do we read the data? How do we know if you are doing good or not? How do we analyze and track them? Let's dive into the metrics in this video. Hello everyone, this is Jason. I help businesses grow with effective Facebook advertising since 2010. Now in this video, I'm going to share with you three Facebook advertising metrics on top of all the numbers that you're, that you're looking at in your Facebook ads manager. There are three key metrics that you need to really monitor to actually analyze if your campaign is doing good or not. So when you run ads on Facebook, basically this is what you'll be saying. If you're not seeing this, then you need to find your way into this. This is what we call the Facebook Ads Manager and all the numbers are in here. So when you are in here for the first time, fundamentally you'll be looking at the performance column, which is the default column, where you'll be seeing numbers like results, reach, impressions and all stuff like that. And a lot of people actually are really obsessed with cost per result. However, I think I really want to clarify this to you where cost per result is not how you pay for Facebook advertising. How you paying Facebook ads is actually through CPM, cost per thousand impression. Now, how do we draw a cost per thousand impression? You won't be able to see it. So I'm going to quickly dive in and immediately go into the columns, custom columns. So here we go. This is the customized column panel. If you have not explored this, I would strongly recommend that you come in and play with this. There are a lot of hundreds of metrics available over here, but of course, we won't be looking at all of them. And today I'm going to share with you three important metrics that you have to monitor when you are running ads on Facebook. Now, the first thing that we have to monitor is what we call the CPM. Remember, this is really the real cost that you are paying Facebook for. Now, what do we mean by CPM? Facebook don't charge you for every click you get. Facebook don't charge you for every result or every lead you get. Facebook charge you every 1,000 times they show your ads to your audience. Now, the CPM finally is the amount that Facebook charge you for showing your ads every 1,000 times. And one thing you have to understand is this is the cost that you have no control because it's actually fluctuating according to the market condition where there will be time where a lot more advertisers are coming in, let's say the year-end season and all that which will push the CPM to come up. So if you face some fluctuation in cost per result, you have to make sure that you are not pausing a campaign or killing a campaign prematurely just because the cost is coming up. So the first thing you have to analyze is, are you having slightly higher CPM compared to the previous duration? So that could be one of the culprit that is causing your Facebook ads to come up. So the second set of metrics that I believe all of us as a Facebook advertiser must constantly monitor will be the click-through rate. So for click-through rate, we will be looking at two sets of click-through rate, the CTR all and the CTR link click. All right, so this has a different implications, which I'm going to explain later. And of course, the third set of you know uh, metrics that you have to analyze would be the frequency. So let's take a look at these numbers and uh, you can actually do this by saving all these and eventually, you know, just click apply, then it will become available in your Facebook Ads Manager metrics. Remember, you can always do your customization however you want it. So let's take a dive into this thing. So basically, I'm going to choose one campaign to analyze. Let's say this is the campaign that I want to actually use for, you know, analyzing. So for each campaign, you may have different ad sets. So you want to look at the, I mean, the, the performance of each ad set to find out whether, you know, which one is performing over the other so that you can have a better idea about how can you do adjustment. So if you need help understanding the basic fundamentals of the metrics, I actually did another video explaining to you about all these basic metrics that we are talking about. So I've already left the link in the description so you can go over and take a look at that video. So basically the three metrics that we pull out was actually first the CPM and the CTR all and CTR link click. Now, always remember the CPM is the real cost that you are paying Facebook for running your ads. So it actually charges you for every thousand times they show your ads. It actually fluctuates all the time. Sometimes it gets slightly more expensive and sometimes it gets cheaper depending on the market condition. Now, CTR all is really the click-through rate of people responding, taking action on any part of the advertisement. And you have to remember when it comes to the Facebook advertisement, there are many things you can click on. You can click on the profile picture, you can click on the play button, you can click on the like button and all that, right? So basically, CTR all indicates whether your advertisement is really getting people to take action. So the benchmark for CTR all is 2%. So if it's below 2%, that means your ad is not really getting people to take action. Probably it's time to look into your creative 
uh, or copywriting. Now, the other set of CTR we are looking at here is the CTR uh, link click through rate. So this is really where people click on the call to action buttons or any links that is available in your advertisement. So the benchmark for CTR link click through rate would be 1%. So anything below, as long as it's not too much below like 0.5 and all that, it should be fine. But if it's really low, then you have to look into your creative as well. Now, the next one that we want to look at is the frequency. Now, as you can actually see, we have two sets of advertisement running. One is look like, which is the cold targeting campaign. And the other one is the retargeting, which is the tier two advertisement in my so basically for frequency, you have to be careful because you don't want to be overreaching. So that when the frequency becomes too high, you might be overreaching and that would actually result to higher CPM, ad fatigue and people start hating your brand and all that. Especially when you are running a broad targeting campaign, you want to make sure to control the frequency at below two. So this is the ideal frequency for a broad targeting campaign, whether it's look like or broad. Now, when it comes to retargeting, our benchmark is below five. That will be an ideal frequency, especially if you're looking at a short term targeting like seven days. You know, it's kind of OK to have this kind of frequency, but you have to make sure that you are not overreaching people in a very kind of like annoying way. So these are all the three key metrics that you will have to monitor. So I hope that gives you a bit of idea about what are the metrics that you want to analyze. Remember, seriously, for every campaign, for every business, for every industry, in fact, there are different kind of like combinations they will be looking into. But generally, these three metrics helps you to get a grasp of like whether your campaign is doing good or not from a more in-depth perspective, which is you're no longer a newbie Facebook advertiser anymore with these metrics that you're discussing. But if you need help, we can actually schedule a one-on-one -on -one call to really dive deep into your Facebook ads campaign, which I call this the Facebook ads audit, where I have been doing this with a lot of people coming from all around the world because what you really need to find out is whether are you doing good on your Facebook ads campaign or not. If you're doing good, you want to find out how can we leverage on the successful campaign that you have to make more money out of it. And on the other hand, if you're having a non-successful campaign, you want to find out why so that you can make sure that you're not repeating the mistakes that you're making in the future campaign. So if you want to really find out about the performance of your current campaign, where we will dive in together, I've already put the link at the bottom. You can actually click on it and we can have a discussion to look at your campaign. So if you like this video, remember to check out more of my videos on my YouTube channel and remember to like and subscribe so that you can see more of the videos coming your way in the future. So this is Jason. See you in the next video.